This is George F551, and I am now going to update this TV with new firmware. New firmware that is supposed to help with the problem of poor reception on weaker signals, which I've recorded a video of trying to watch WWE SmackDown, and it wouldn't work. I have downloaded the firmware on this one gigabyte cruiser. I've tried it before and it failed to work. Perhaps it's because they failed to tell me that I might have to unzip the zip file. So we're going to put this in the service thing. Uh, but before we do that, let's set her up. Menu. Menu. Then we go to software update. Insert the USB memory device containing the software. And like I said, I've had the zip folder in here. It didn't work. There's the service. It's just a USB port. Okay, I got it backwards. There it goes. So now I unzipped the file. There. It's in the root directory. There's no reason for this to not find it. Now I'm gonna hit OK. Now that this is disposed of, now that this matter is disposed of, what do you plan to do? I just want everybody to go about their life and just be happy. And now my it is now checking. It was a travesty what happened. Apparently, they failed miserably to tell you you had to unzip the file. Reason why I didn't make any effort to unzip it? I've had many software applications that will automatically do that for you. Okay, current version U8190. Obviously, this is much newer. Start update? Yes. Alrighty. Now it goes dark. However, as you can see, it's still on. What you may not see is it is flashing. Oh, and now we have a screen showing us that it's working. Pardon me while I uh, change the position of the camera in my hand. Now it's updating. Wow, this is slow. Then again, it is a 25 megabyte file. The zip file folder was 25 megabytes. The so-called uncompressed file in the zip folder is 25 megabytes. Why did they just not have it not in a zip folder? I have no idea why. Software update is complete. Okay, is... Oh. Off it goes. Alrighty. Tell us it's, it's been successful. We can now remove the memory device. Let's hit OK. Let's see if it did anything. It's supposed to improve reception on weak stations. All right, Stanley. Uh, well, by that we can't tell. Meredith, if you don't come to my party, so what I'm going to do very, very sorry. is I'm going to plug this back in. That's the antenna rotator. And we're going to slowly turn it until it doesn't work anymore. I hear Angela's party will have double fudge brownies. It will also have the Angela. Double fudge. All right, it's at the brink of failure, which is rather on the low end. Angela. Well, it appears it actually is working. 
If you remember in that other video, when it got to this level, it just quit working or failed altogether. And here we are at 34 and it's working flawlessly. The software update is working. You know what, I don't think we're taking this far enough. Let's what? turn it more out of, out of sync here. Okay, now it's starting to screw up. Okay, at 33, which on most TVs is threshold of perfection, it's still falling a little bit short. Let's turn it back up to one notch, 34. Okay, it's still a little off. He just had his heart broken. You wouldn't do that to him, would you? I don't know. Oh, sure you would. Uh, it's a little better. Okay, it's still flickering under 34. Let's definitely better. I mean, every once in a while you see a stray broken uh, pixel or broken tile, but it is working a lot better than it did before. It would take about 36-37% to get a stable picture. Now it takes 35. Doesn't seem like much, but on a weak station that's on the fringe area, it makes a world of difference. And that is the update on this TV. Hope you enjoyed it.